Welcome to the Columbia University Ridge Tour, where we explore some exciting deep sea features called hydrothermal vents. These areas can now be explored like never before with the publication of the Columbia Underwater Terrain Synthesis, covering an area larger than North America and half of all of the ocean area that has ever been mapped. The ocean covers three quarters of the planet, but only a tiny fraction of it has been explored. Far beneath the surface of the ocean, the water is cold and the pressure is immense. Let's take a look at the deepest volcanic eruption ever captured on video, just northeast of Fiji at the West Mata Volcano. Now let's turn on a layer showing where the plate boundaries exist. Earthquakes shake and crack the ocean crust, and fiery volcanoes explode. These underwater volcanoes are found along the extensive mid-ocean ridge system, the world's longest mountain range. 30 years ago, in an area near the Galapagos Islands, a group of geologists hypothesized that underwater geysers would be found along the mid-ocean ridge system. These geysers, they thought, would exist where cracks allow seawater to circulate into the crust and get heated from below. To test their theory, they targeted a section of the ridge northeast of the Galapagos Islands. The underwater geysers they found, known as hydrothermal vents, were spewing extremely hot fluids. Laden with minerals, the hot fluid can look like black smoke jetting out of the seafloor. Scientists were surprised to find lush animal communities. These creatures live in extreme environments, under conditions that would be deadly to other known life forms. Scientists later discovered that bacteria living inside these animals produce biological energy from chemicals in the hot vent fluid. Now let's visit the East Pacific Rise. A multidisciplinary team of scientists investigating a fresh volcanic eruption happened upon a scene that resembled an underwater snowstorm. They took samples and discovered that the snow-like material was made of bacteria. These heat-loving bacteria are the basis of the food web for animal communities at hydrothermal vents. What they did not know at the time was that they were witnessing the beginning of a new cycle. With each eruption, fresh lava flows over the seafloor and wipes out whole animal communities. By returning year after year, scientists were able to learn about the reestablishment and growth of new vent communities. Now let's look at the alvanella worms. Off the west coast of Washington state and Canada, along the Juan de Fuca Ridge, scientists discovered a different kind of hydrothermal vent. This Godzilla mineral structure was so massive that it could not be photographed in its entirety. Instead, an artist drew the structure based on observations made from a submersible. Today, underwater vehicles carrying high-def cameras take thousands of close-up pictures that can be used to create detailed photo mosaics. Scientists not only use imagery to learn about hydrothermal vents, but they also rely on sound. At a nearby vent named Sully, scientists were able to record the sound of hot water jetting out of the sea floor. On the other side of the Pacific, in the Laubachark Basin, scientists tried a new approach for coordinating their research expeditions. Using the latest in underwater vehicle and sensor technology, they were able to quickly learn about the characteristics of the seafloor and overlying seawater. Like passing a baton in a relay race, each cruise provided important information for the next, and new vents and seafloor communities came into view in record time. Hairy snails and tiny tube worms are just some of the animals thriving at hydrothermal vents in this area. 
After decades of research, less than 15% of the global ocean has been explored. Yet with each new discovery, we gain important knowledge about the planet. Studying organisms and earth processes in these extreme environments holds the potential to impact our everyday lives. Now you can explore on your own by using Google Earth today.